Now, you've been chair for about a year now, right? Yeah, I just celebrated my one-year anniversary last week. Thanks and, for remembering. And? And we are on the fight. And last night's uh, election results, while we're still waiting for some ballots to, to be counted, as, as you know, here in California, what we may not see it until Easter. Um, right. But East, Easter, of, Easter, of, Easter of this year, Jessica? I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. <laughs> But I'm cautiously optimistic. We had a pretty good night last night. And, you know, I, I watched you all over social media. I listened to you, Larry. I know you have a country to save. I've got a state to save. <laughs> well, and we are incredibly focused on that here in California. Well, let's talk about that. What happened with the touchscreen voting system in L.A. County? I mean, it was an absolute mess. And Three hour late, that- four hour wait. Are you kidding me? Exactly. Wow. People were ordering pizzas in line. <laughs> Because they were waiting for such a long time. And these are machines that were approved by our Democrat Secretary of State, Alex Villa. And it is so incredibly unfortunate to all of the people around our state that had to wait in these long lines. Because Democrats are constantly trying to change things. And they have solutions for problems that don't exist. And it is just so incredibly frustrating to the people, when you have these touch screens that aren't working, you have check-in systems that aren't working, you have wait lines that are three and four hours long, how could we possibly fight against some sort of foreign interference if we can't even get these things right? It's just incredibly frustrating for everybody. And very clearly, you know, the Democrats, um, their mismanagement of everything on every level, I mean, California is just the epitome of it. I'm speaking with the chair of the California Republican Party, Jessica Patterson. Jessica, I was just saying before you came on that declined estates now outnumber registered Republicans here in California. What do we do about this? You know, I think that we've had a problem as a party. We've done a very poor job of engaging in many communities around our state. I think that we have neglected many communities around our state. And Democrats have shown up, and Democrats have made them feel like they care about their problems. And we have to do a better job of that. And over the last year, that is something that we have been incredibly focused on. We've registered 132,000 new Republicans over the last year. And a big focus for us is making sure that in every single community, they're hearing a voice. They're hearing a voice of what we would do differently. Because I don't believe that they are voting for Democrats because Democrats are helping them to lead their best lives. In fact, Every single milestone or benchmark that is out there would say the exact opposite. But they need to know that Republicans care about their problems, and we have solutions to these problems. So making sure that we're on the ground, in communities, talking to people, delivering our message, not just what the Democrats are doing wrong, because we can all see that, whether it's the homeless crisis, the affordability crisis here in California, the attack on K-12 through education that is absolutely failing our children, um, or public safety. We know that the Democrats have failed on every single one of these issues. We also have to talk about what we would do differently and what we are offering up. Jessica Patterson is my guest. She's chair of the California Republican Party. Uh, Jessica, who was it who ran uh, as Republican for governor last time? Uh, John, was it Cox? John Cox. John Cox. Mm -hmm. Okay, he wrapped himself around Donald Trump. He uh, said he wanted to build the wall, uh, wanted to make sure that our borders were secure. He wasn't uh, down with an amnesty, a pathway to citizenship, and so forth. And that seemed to hurt him with Hispanics in California. What is the position that a, uh, a, a Republican should take on the issue of immigration uh, and and still win in California? Well, I think that immigration is an important issue here in California, right? And I think that the recruitment of candidates that we've done here has been, you know, some people that can actually speak to the issue. Um, Down in Orange County, we have candidates like Michelle Park Steele and Young Kim, who both um, managed to get through to the top two for November, both immigrants themselves. We have David Valadeo, the son of immigrants uh, in the Central Valley, who's running for Congress. We have um, over in a Senate district in the Inland Empire, we have Rosalicia Ochoa Bogue, who was born here in California, but spent most of her childhood growing up in Mexico. So having individuals that can actually speak to the issue, that also look and sound like the communities that um, may not understand the message that is coming out. 
it is it's incredibly important to recruit those great kinds of candidates that can deliver those messages. Jessica, what happened in Orange County in 2018? Four uh, Republican seats were lost in a county that used to be the most reliably Republican county in the country. Yeah, it's so true. And I think that w- one of the things that we've seen with the party in different parts of our state is that we started to get uh, a little bit lazy and we were relaxed and we didn't do all of the things that we should have been doing as far as maintenance and communicating with people. And when you don't, that vacuum will be filled with someone else. And so we're really focused on making sure that we show, listen, we understand, we weren't there, we're back. And these are the things that we would do. We had a two-year experiment, and we've seen what these Democrats here in California have done. We've seen the um, candidate from from Orange County who said that they were going to focus on solving problems, whether it was health care or, or immigration, um, that they, they weren't into petty politics and they weren't going to be impeaching the president. And then every single one of them spent time on petty politics mm-hmm. and impeaching the president. Mm-hmm. So being able to go and say, this is what they're doing. This is what we we want to do. And we understand we've neglected you in the past, but we are here. We are ready to serve and we are ready to fix problems. That's what people want to hear. Jessica, 45 seconds left. How is this the delegate count going to shake out to how many delegates do you think Sanders is going to get? How many delegates do you think uh, Biden is going to get ultimately? Yeah, so I think that, you know, Sanders has has really done a strong showing here in California. And as you know, Larry, we do our delegates here proportionally by congressional district. Mm -hmm. So it's winner take all in each congressional district. So you have to win every single congressional district. 